Um, listen, uh, Tony, I think you know me. Uh, ca- captaincy, not captaincy. Um, it's a massive honour to wear the, the armband for this country, but it's uh, not something that my e- ego needs or anything like that. I'm always about what's right for the team, uh, what's right for the players. And when I come in, armband, no armband, whatever the case may be, would have been. It wouldn't change my commitment to the cause for Ireland. So um, obviously it's nice the manager manager said that, but it's not something that I was worried about or thinking about when there was a change of manager, no. Once again, though, it's the Seamus Coleman versus Matt Doherty dilemma for Stephen King, I suppose. Uh, how are you and Matt coping with that? Ah, uh, yeah, well, we're not getting on well at the minute at all. Tony, we had a fallout there about half an hour ago, but... Listen, uh, that's something for 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 you to talk about. Um, I I come away come away and and do as best as I can for 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 my club. Obviously, the first couple of games, the manager chose to go that way with with Matt, which um, no problems for me. Um, it doesn't change who I am, what I do. I went back to club level, and I think uh, you know I do my talking on the pitch, and uh, I I had a good start to the season. Unfortunately, I picked up a niggle, but. Me and Matt get on very well. We 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 support each other in the role, and um, Matt's a a very good fullback. And um, uh, whoever plays plays, and and that's just part and parcel of of this game. I'm sure it's the same for you. The Ireland England game doesn't happen too often, uh, and it's a big one. And you were involved in the last one at Wembley, of course. What's your memories of that? Yeah, we played very well that night. There, is from what I remember. Um, you know, Shane Long scored that great goal, and um, obviously, when there's a full stadium there, it makes things that bit sweeter as well. That's something that we're that we're missing out on now. But uh, it's a massive game, and that was a a great night for us. But uh, I'd like to think that every time the boys come away um, as a group, regardless who we play, when you put on the green shirt, uh, there should be enough motivation in that itself. Regardless if it's against our rivals in England. We should always have that hunger and motivation to do well for, for our country, regardless uh, who we play. But it's a game as players we're looking forward to, and um, supporters at home, I'm sure, will be really looking forward to it as well. Thank you. Thanks, Tony. Guy Hovard from Sky Sports. Hi, Seamus. Um, Carlo Ancelotti described you as one of the best captains he's ever worked with. How did that make you feel? Again, uh, listen, a, a manager of that. Uh, regard it's a it's a it's a massive compliment especially the the players that he's worked with that that are captains but um again it I'm not doing anything special I don't think as a captain I'm expecting the the principles to to happen on a daily basis you know your standards around the place and I feel like being at Everton for so long it's been my job to to try and keep the standards up and you know unfortunately in recent times we've had a change of manager on so many occasions but it's important to try and just keep that morale going and, and let people know what, what it means to play for the football club. So for a manager like that to acknowledge the efforts that go on behind the scene because sometimes I think fans maybe can only see what goes on for the 90 minutes, but for a manager to maybe acknowledge what, what has to be done on a, on a daily basis, it's a, it's a massive compliment and, and one that I'm grateful for. Um, no, I don't. It's not something that's that's in my mind. I think I'd be one of them players that you know will put myself forward at club and country level till I'm not picked. I don't think I'm important enough. I'm not as high profile as a Robbie Keane to to have a a retirement. Um, I think whenever a manager decides to to stop picking me at international level, that uh, international level, that'll be that'll be entirely up to him. But it'll not. I don't think it'll be a case of of me saying um, I've I've had enough. But um, Hopefully that that won't be the case anyway. I'm I'm enjoying coming away with Ireland and I love playing for my club. So we'll just see what that brings. But uh, at the minute, it's not something that I'm thinking about. Thank you. Okay, Bernard O'Toole from Virgin. Bernard. How are you? Not too bad. Uh, kind of broke, could, could, broke could you, up a bit there. Could you repeat there, that, You broke up a bit there. Sorry, yeah, the connection was stable. Just, you know, the Ireland team are going to commit this morning like, in a different way to the last Ireland team obviously you played. Just what have you made of Ireland when this team was the style of play and where do you see yourself fitting in with, with that style? 
Yeah, listen, I watched a watch from home, unfortunately, against Slovakia, which was disappointing um, for everyone involved. It was a a very disruptive week, and uh, you know, sitting at home wasn't great to be watching it either when I wanted to be there. But I thought the lads played ever so well on the night and were unlucky on penalties. And you can see there's a a different style of play, um, and the lads have been kind of controlling the ball a bit more. But ultimately, we we do want to to win the games and. Um, Coming into a, a different style of play, you know, I've had eight or nine different managers at club level as well, so it's not something that I'll find any 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 somewhat different. So uh, I'm looking forward to it. I've selected because um, it's been been enjoyable to be around, and and as I said, the performances in the games have been good. We just haven't managed to get that goal, which has been uh, the disappointing bit. But I'm sure it'll come because the lads are, are doing well. Yeah, well, listen. It um, the younger generation now. It's, it's a different time, but um, it's a massive game for us all. It's a massive game for them. It's a massive game for everyone. But at the end of the day, like I touched on before, every time you go out and play for your country, it's uh, like you can't give more against England than you would against Slovakia, for example. You've got to give your all every time you play for this country, and that's what we'll be doing tomorrow. And obviously the occasion, if we happen to get the win, it would be uh, a massive result, even in a friendly, because we've not beat them in a while. But um, no, if if, uh, if any young young player asked me for advice, I'd say go out and be yourself and enjoy the game, because uh, you know it doesn't come around much playing England at Wembley. So be free and enjoy it. Damien Spellman, from, okay. uh, Damien Spellman, please. Hi. Shamus. Hi. I think it's it's clear to be seen, um, you know, anyone who's been following it. What he's, you know, uh, he's only he's only a young lad himself, and to be uh, taking that on his shoulders and uh, to genuinely, sincerely want to be making a difference, it's a it's a massive credit to him, and um, I think it's something that he should be applauded for highly. Um, he comes across as a very grounded uh, young footballer, uh, very talented footballer as well, um, you know. On the pitch, he's top class talent, very dangerous footballer. But what he's doing off the pitch, I think um, it's inspiring for for all the players in the Premier League to you know to dig in and get involved and help in any way you can with whatever causes it that that you, that, that you want to encourage. And I think Marcus has done a remarkable job, and he deserves all the credit in the world for it. And and fair play to him. No problem. William from off the ball. Well, listen, like, you know, nowadays on, on social media, I've got my own, you know, private accounts. I'm not out there in, in the open for, for everyone to get into my profiles. But um, things pop up, certain things pop up that you see or people text you about certain certain things. And just sometimes some hit home with you more than others. And luckily enough, by playing football, I've been, um, I've been you know, lucky enough to, to earn some money out of it. And I, I, I feel like... It's something that I can do to help people. I've got two daughters myself, and some of the the cases that I reach out to is maybe parents needing help with you know uh, treatment for kids or or whatever the case may be. And you know if you can help in any way you can, it's it's important and um, it's something that that I really enjoy doing. And sometimes I put my name towards it. Sometimes I don't. And uh, the reason I put my name towards it sometimes is hoping that you know. The likes of yourselves get hold of it and then it, it gains recognition for the cause and then on the back of that more money can be raised but as a footballer I think we're in a very privileged position and you know it's nice to, to help people when you can. Yeah, listen we want we want to win football that's what it's about you want to win football games all the time and um, you know <laughs> I don't want to be making excuses. I I don't like to look for excuses, but that last camp was incredible. I was watching it from home. You know all the pullouts and lads perfectly fit and healthy and close contact. So it was a 
it was a disaster for, for the players and obviously the manager as well. So that's been disappointing. And obviously we've had a few uh, pullouts again, which is disappointing as well. And uh, probably a couple of the starting players possibly. So it's disappointing, but we need to we need to get on with that and we need to win games. And I think over the course of the next three three games, if we if we play well enough, then hopefully we'll get we'll get some results out of it leading into next year, which is so important for us after, you know, the disappointment of the Slovakia game. Hey, how, you doing? how are you? Good. I just uh, I wanted to say, Gareth Southgate, his team has developed into a, a top team in Europe, uh, over the, a top settled team, and the rankings would reflect that. Um, I was supposed to bring the fear factor with them when they got into like, campaign matches around Europe. Um, because you you on the team know the, the players so well, and the Uh, I think, I think nowadays you know people who follow football, it doesn't matter what league it, you play in, you kind of would know the England players anyway. I would imagine, but yeah, we've definitely got that advantage of of knowing them that bit more, and um, you'd like to think that'll help. But you know. I think we need to look to ourselves sometimes as well. I know England have got some top class players playing at very high profile clubs, but we've got Premier League players throughout the squad basically. Like, and it's not like maybe years gone by where we didn't have so many Premier League players playing week in, week out. And I think the last two years there's been quite a lot of Premier League players. So I think we need to look at ourselves and and be fit to match 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 up with them. You know, we know they've got dangerous players, but we got to understand that we're Premier League quality players as well and go and do it and. And, and see what it brings. That's what's going to get out really here. Just I suppose in recent years, the championship has you know, may have been labeled the championship side. So you, you would see tomorrow night's game as a Premier League clash rather than like an FA Cup match of a lower league team taking on a big, a big, a big team. Is that how you bring into the game? Well, I would imagine, I would imagine England would be favourites for the game, but. Um, I think you've got to have standards amongst yourself, like, and as I said, believe in yourself. Uh, uh, for example, Matt. Matt's playing at Tottenham. He's playing at a top team. I'm playing at Everton. It's a top team in the league. We've got players throughout the team playing in, pre in Premier League. Aston Villa doing well. Conor Hur, I know he's not playing at the minute. So we've got to we've got to believe that um, that we're a we're a very good team as well because we are Premier League footballers. So let's not get away from the fact that that that, that that's what we are. And um, um, obviously we've got some Championship players who are very good for us as well. And and obviously Shane Duffy in um, in Scotland playing, so um, we got to go into it ready, ready to play, ready to fight for the for the jersey, and full belief that we can get a result. Philip Quinn, please. Uh, thanks, Kieran. Shane, it's good to see you back. Uh, you've had your difficulties in the last few years with the broken leg, um, and then it's been a year since we've seen you actually. Um, so it's good to see you back. Good to see James McCarthy back as well. A good, good friend of yours. We saw some footage there the training. Uh, you're very close to James. He was out for even longer than you. Um, we we probably don't have as many leaders in the team, Seamus, as we as we had in Euro 2016. Can can James McCarthy become the leader that that he, he has potential to be, and can he recreate that form 2016 and become a mainstay of the team under Stephen Kenny for the next couple of years? Yeah, of course he can, and um, uh, yeah, I'll go back to my I'll go back to my old manager. He's got a book called Quiet Leadership. You don't, uh, you might see ninety minutes of a game or whatever, but you don't see what people people lead in different ways. People are vocal, people are quiet. But Jamesy on a on a daily basis in training, he's ratting about. He's getting in people's faces, and uh, he's got that quality. So he doesn't need to be a shouter and raver. As that's never really been what he is. But uh, without doubt, he's had his injury problems like myself. But. Um, again, when I was touching on the Premier League players, he's playing for Crystal Palace. I know he's missed the last couple of games with, with the injury, but he's been playing and he's probably been one of their better players in the first six games before he got injured. So, top player again playing in the Premier League. So, it's about us all putting it together as a group. Uh, it's very difficult. I've come away with, for, 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 for Ireland having like played really well for Everton at times and maybe not having the same level of form, but it's about the 11 players all, all chipping in and then whoever comes off the bench to make us all a better team. And it's not going to be one or two leaders that we need. We just need a group of players willing to willing to fight for the jersey. Any more, Philip? No? OK. Uh, Paul Rowan? Thank you. 
Hiya. Hiya. Um, Seamus? Yeah. No, it's not. It's not my problem. Listen, Jack and Jack and Declan decided what what they're going to do, and that's entirely up to themselves. Obviously, uh, top players who who we would like to have, but they just seen it elsewhere. So it's not like I'm going to be shouting in their ear about that tomorrow. But by no means, uh, I've got to concentrate on my my team and and and, and our players. And um, you know, everyone's got their own personal uh, preferences, and you know. Whatever they decide, they decide, and we ju we obviously just want uh, to do well for ourselves. But there's no um, it's going to be n none of that uh, childish stuff. No, definitely not. Uh, John Cross, please. Yeah, listen. We want to win every game. That's just the way it works. As as professional as professionals as competitors, you want to win every game. But don't get me wrong. England are an excellent team with excellent players throughout, and um, it's a great test for us. It's a great test to the to the way we're trying to to build going forward to see how we how we cope with how they press or how we can play out. So it's a great test for us and one that we're really looking forward to. And um, it's something that. Uh, I know people can say it's it's a strange time for friendlies or whatever with all the fixtures, but as players, I can only speak on behalf of myself, but you just love playing for your country, so the opportunity is great. Equally, love playing for Everton, so um, as long as the body can hold up for these things, you, you want to be involved in all the games possible. Well, I'd like to think so, yeah. I'd like to think uh, every player meeting up with their national teams around Europe, around the world, have got immense pride because, you know, you can't lose sight of the fact that, you know, when we're, you know, four, five, six, seven years old, that's all you wanted to do. And I, I don't think it's a feeling that you should get used to. It's something that you should cherish every time you put on, for me, myself, the green jersey and then whatever. I'm sure the England players will be very proud as well, playing for their country. So understand the manager's frustrations they want their players to be fit and well for the season so i can get all that but uh, as players you want to you want to play for your country as well and finally owen Clouser, please Uh, listen, I want to play the major tournament, but um, how I've kept my longevity in this game so far is I don't look uh, past tomorrow, really. You've got to be on your toes every single day and, and, and try and be your best every single day. And obviously, we want to get to the World Cup because, yeah, the years are, are, are ticking on. But, um, you know, hopefully that'll be the case with the manager and, you know, the new group of players coming through that we can start doing that on a more regular basis but for me you know I look to tomorrow and then I look to the next day and, and so so forth until until it's time to, to call it a day because in this game loss of form injuries anything's around the corner so you just need to keep fighting and keep hungry on a daily basis and that's me own so um, I, obviously a long term target is to qualify for the World Cup that would be amazing I've had the Euros but the World Cup would be amazing but um, you've got to focus on a daily basis first I think Thanks, ok man. guys thank you very much much appreciated your attendance and um, yeah, speak to you all soon thank thanks you. lads